Hello everybody, it is Sunny. Welcome back to another video. Today we are making a Alphonse Mucha inspired dress. This basically was kind of an in-between idea. Um, I didn't really fully commit to it at all. And as you see here, I'm just kind of getting my metallic trim ready and gathering up all of this beautiful matte blue silk. Um, spoiler alert, this design didn't work out at all. <laughs> the thing about it was, um, there was a lot of excess fabric near the booby regions, and also it just plain didn't fit me. So, those two were the main reasons why I just didn't go with this design at all. And here is where the main problem comes in. It's just too lumpy near the boobies. And I just like... It just doesn't look good on me. It's not flattering at all. So I decided, oh, I'm just gonna go along with it. And then during an art night with my dad, I just went like, no, not happening. Not going today. And just ripped it all out and started from scratch. So here we go with version 2.0, which is just a straight band around the chest and then two sleeves that are attached where the armpit goes. And I'm just checking if my fabric width would be enough to uh, properly gather it down and then I'm cutting at that point, which is why you see me just kind of duck down there for a second. And yep. And I'm just gathering that up with some contrasting thread on the blue silk. And I'm going to be pulling one of those threads to make gathers. And then I will be draping that onto the bodice. Which, yes, did take a lot because it was very, very heavy. <laughs> and that all said and done, we can move on to sewing the strap to the silk. So this is just done by using black thread and being very, very careful and just sewing on that black line at the very edge of the trim. And then I just cut down the excess, which you have to be really careful about because as you see in this weird clip, I completely cut too, like, too close and make a hole and just, it just, please be careful with that. I then sewed the lengthways bit to the metal trim going down the dress, which again, you have to be really careful about. I then gathered, draped, pinned, and then Repinned somehow because I kept them pinning to the dress one um, to the other side of the bodice, and so that even though um, you might tell this is the back side of the matte silk, so <laughs> I had to fix that. <sighs> With the wrong side fix all said and done, this is what it kind of looks like on the dress form without a leveled hem. And this is what it looks like on me going down the hallway like I usually do. I then spend a good two hours trying to level this hem with the hem leveler that came with this machine. <laughs> That's what my brain went to. Dress form. Um, this made it kind of hit by my calf, which I was okay with, but I just didn't want to, like, shave my legs for this dress. <laughs> I then whipped stitches down, considering that I'm only doing a one rolled hem. Uh, I placed it down. Then I am just 
sewing the sleeves into a loop, which I later unpicked because I probably shouldn't have done that in the first place and then started gathering up the sleeves again. This part has a lot of gathers for some reason. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I just possibly sewed that on being as careful as I possibly could, which ended up really Then I got a piece of my knit elastic that I just keep around the house for some reason, uh, split it in half, and then stretched it to get all the excess wonky bits out of the way. I then sewed some lace to the elastic, which to be fair, it's kind of easy, but I just wanted to make it look pretty, okay? Um, just by stretching the elastic and keeping the lace level, you can make it gathered without having to, like, gather it and then put it on the zoom, uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I managed to get the gigantic mass of blue silk on my table to sew it up. <sighs> But before I ever got any sort of final footage of it, someone just said it was a moo moo, and I was like, really? And then I asked someone else, and they were like, well, she's not wrong. So, I mean, I guess it's just going where all of my finished products end up going at some point. Fucking... Just, god damn it. <laughs> Just get on the pole. Ugh. There we go. And, yep. Put this back here. And on to the new thing. <laughs>